Motion capture is undoubtedly one of the most revolutionary aspects in all of movie making, as it allows digital characters to be brought to life with a greater sense of realism. Actors playing these roles have their actual physical movements captured while they are on set, and in post production are covered with so called digital makeup that is the CGI creation viewers see in the final product. Films such as The Lord of the Rings, Avatar, and the rebooted Planet of the Apes would not be possible without these advancements, and now MOCAP is more prevalent than ever. Last year, one of the most notable instances was Alan Tudyk's standout work as seen stealing droid K2 So in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Over the past decade or so, there's been a great debate regarding MOCAP in the film industry. Many people would like to see these performances be recognized at awards shows like the Oscars, but the Academy's regulations are fickle in that department and seem unlikely to change. It seems odd for such an important step forward to be ignored completely, but Tudyk himself has an idea for a compromise he thinks might work. We had the opportunity to speak with Tudyk and Rogue One animator Hal Hickel, who primarily worked on K2 So. When asked about MOCAP and awards, the two had very interesting perspectives, Tudyk said, I would say they should be, because who doesn't want an Oscar? But they should be a team. It would be a CO award because it is not just one or the other. To Hickel my art instructed your art. They meet. So, one wouldn't work without the other. Hickel said, what I would say is I think absolutely a motion capture performance should be honored in the best actor or best supporting actor category. Where I differ is, I think we already have an award for visual effects. So for a character who's just amazing, who's a motion capture character this is not motion capture, but think of John Hurt as the elephant man. We don't see his face in the whole film, but Oscar-worthy performance. And, you could also nominate the makeup artist in the makeup category. That's kind of how I think of it. Tudyk's concept of a CO award is fascinating and may be able to appeal to both sides of the argument. When it comes to MOCAP, there is a question of actor versus animator and who is ultimately responsible for what is on the big screen. As Tudyk says, it's a team effort. He portrayed K2 so in what was lovingly called the computer pajamas and interacted with his CO stars during principal photography, making everyone's job easier. But when director Gareth Edwards rapped, ILM was tasked with placing the actual droid in the footage. Hickel told us that they skewed very closely to what Alan did to preserve his performance, but they still had to manipulate the end result in some respects. For instance, K2 so SIs moved around to show emotion, something that wasn't possible to depict until ILM took over. Of course, Hickel makes a solid point as well. John Hurt was nominated for his heartbreaking turn in The Elephant Man, even though he was completely obscured by awards-worthy makeup for the entire film. Hurt's appearance in that film was heavily altered by a different department that has their own Oscars category, so it reads as logical to keep everything separate. The digital makeup argument can be controversial since it seems to discredit what the VFX team does, but it's interesting that there are some animators in the industry who subscribe to that belief. Whether the Academy ever opens up to MOCAP remains to be seen, but Tudyk did have another fix if his CO award pitch isn't good enough, watch the movie with the actor in his pajamas and stilts.